Welcome to Bear River High School's production of Tuck Everlasting the Musical. You can access our production program on your mobile device by scanning the QR codes available in the lobby. We are grateful to and recognize all those who have made tonight's performance possible, especially our seasoned sponsor, Members First Credit Union. In compliance with state and local mandates, please practice social distancing within the auditorium by sitting at least six feet or three chairs away from other groups. We ask that you also continue social distancing out in the lobby and other areas of the theater. Masks must be worn by all patrons at all times and should cover both your mouth and nose. We ask that you please keep the aisles clear as our actors will be using these spaces throughout the performance. Any sound or video recordings made without permission go against our contract for performance. We ask that you please refrain from such activity as well as the use of flash photography. Please turn off all sound making devices and other distractions. Thank you for joining us this evening and we hope you enjoy our performance of Tuck Everlasting.
can't wait to see the boys. So? So, I'm going to meet them in she got work. Are you sure that's a good idea, May? Yes, either I walk them home or they bring each other's nets. <laughs> well, be careful. I will. I love you, Angus. <laughs> Never let us have fun. We have fun every day. Keep 
your potato pill, Betsy. We want cotton candy.
Anything. Would you? Well, would you? It was just an expression. To you, perhaps. Now, I don't suppose you noticed anyone strange around here recently. What do you mean, strange? Well, I've been up and down New Hampshire looking for a highly unusual family. Used to live here in Tree Gap some time ago. I don't recall meeting anyone unusual until today. <laughs> Pardon me? Is there something I can help you with? No, madam. Pardon me. Just spread the word about the fair. Is it as fun as it used to be? <laughs> madam, nothing is as fun as it used to be. You can say that again. Nothing is as fun as it used to be. <laughs> That too, do you hear it? I've heard that very melody on and off my whole life. It's beautiful and it always comes from our wood. Your wood, did you say? Yes, she did. I'll keep that in mind. But as for now, much as I would love to stay, ladies, a man only has so much time. Where do you find a suit that color? And why would you buy it? <laughs> Don't you see, Mother? It's a sign. We can go to the fair like we used to. No. And that's the final word. A mother. No more buts. Don't you understand, Winnie? The world is a dangerous place. And it's my job alone to protect you. From what? Having fun? That is enough. Now go inside and change your dress and your attitude. No, I hate when I hate your rule. Pretty Betsy, let her be. She'll come in when she's ready to apologize. <laughs> Where are we going? 
Jesse, please tell me that your friend doesn't know anything about the... You know... The water? Oh, boy! Jesse! It's Walter about the water? This isn't my fault! Never is. Mom, well, you're thinking what I'm thinking? Unfortunately, yes. Please know that, as a mother, I do not approve of what we're about to do. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
from trivia. Oh, your great grandmother and I used to fish together. It's an honor to meet you. <laughs> well, come on, don't you want to shake my hand? No, I want to bite. <laughs> That's what my father taught me to do if anyone ever tried to kidnap me. <laughs> oh, no, Winnie. This is like kidnapping. Well, technically, honey. Well, let's just tell him. No, no, no. no. This is a big idea. As I've always said, if anybody ever finds out about us. My Lord. <laughs> this is different. This is a child. A child changes everything. Winnie Foster. Have my word that we are not going to harm you. Please don't bite me. <laughs> Fine. Now, can I please just come home? I'm going to see where you're sick. This is ridiculous. So now what? Paul will know what to do. Right? Uh -huh. oh, oh, of course I know what to do. All this time. Where am I? about something again. All that man's done for 10 years is lay on the couch, waiting for you to come home. Oh, welcome home, boys. I miss the sound of you two fighting. <laughs> oh, fishing, yay! <laughs> You've been gone for 10 years? But you're only 17. I'm so confused. Mom, let's just tell her. Oh, Mom, let's just not. Miles, please. Paul doesn't know what to do, and it's up to us. What do you want, sir? Are you really here? Secret? Ever? <laughs> the question is, is she ready to keep it? How do we know she won't run and tell everyone? She knows too much now not to tell her everything. I guess we'll just have to trust her. Go ahead, Ma. Once upon a time, once upon a time, can it start like that? Can it start like that? Patient with me, Whitney, I've never told this before. Once there was a man, a man with a wife and a family. That's part of me. Just <laughs> let me tell a story. I don't want to start a war. We traveled from the west to settle in the east, looking for a farm or some land at least. Get to the park where I fall from the tree. <laughs> Am I got it all wrong? Okay. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Starting. 
50 miles, has his little white palms. <laughs> How can I be sure you're not just telling me a story? Oh, that part's easy. Mom, where's my rifle? We can shoot me. Whoa, 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 Was it a special dress? 
for the Americans. We went dancing to our village hall, with musicians playing in the corners and wildflowers on the tables. We danced all night until the floor shook. That man loved to dance. My father couldn't dance at all, but that didn't stop him from trying. Isn't it nice in the middle we made you smile? Yes. But what if I start to forget it? Impossible. Besides, your best memories haven't even happened yet. You think? I know.
Jesse Tuck. For the first time in 102 years, <laughs> I'm truly disappointed. Oh, please no! Not this time. There are some things even you can't sweet talk your way out of. Well, now you've upset your mother. Say your goodbyes. Did I do something wrong? Never. Jesse, do you still mean what you said at the sidewalk about the water after Cape Town 17? Yes, yes, but you have to hide it somewhere good. Why do I smell pancakes? The kid must be starving. Where's Mom and Pa? We're outside. I think I made them mad. Why are you wearing those clothes? Where did she get Thomas's clothes? Who's Thomas? Oh, let him believe me. And she didn't make anyone mad. I did like always. What did you do now, Jesse? I don't care who's disappointed in me anymore. Someday I won't wait to drink the water. Go ahead, say it. Jesse, even for you, this is a new level of selfish. No, it's not. I want to see my power. I want to see the Egyptian pyramids. No, you want to see old age. You want to see your children grow up. I refuse to keep living alone in the shadows. Jesse, if you won't listen to your big brother, then listen to some common sense. So, okay. Your plan works for three years, maybe four if you're lucky. Then what? Do you someday start a family and make your children drink the water? And what about when the neighbors catch on to your secret? Then what? Do you want to go to jail? Forever? I already feel like I'm starting to my sentence, Miles. I'd rather do my time than to somebody who actually appreciates it. Miles, who's Thomas? I don't talk about him. And why did you say his name? He was my son. Is he still alive? I don't know. My wife took him from me. Did they drink the water? No. By the time I found out the secret of the spring, the years had passed for them. But not for me. She thought I was possessed. A freak. I don't think you're a freak. It's time to get you back home to your family. Can I stay just a little longer? No. If your father's anything like me, all he's doing right now is watching your front door. All he's doing is counting the minutes. I had a farmhouse with a grandfather clock where I would teach time to my son. Our lessons began at 12 o'clock sharp when the hand
of business transactions. Yeah, what sort of business transactions? I didn't say. Try. We sold him the wood. Really? You sold him tree gap wood after all these decades? Well, neighbor, I suppose I'll be seeing you.
upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, started just like that. My granny told me a story, how that woman loved to gab. Why did you to drink me? Only everything. Said there was a man with a wife and sons, and the story goes, the beauty froze. I get anyone familiar, or did I take a stab? Again, you don't know anything about me. I want you to know where the spring is now. Why don't you show it to me? Miles, this is him. This is the man. Hold him right there. No, this isn't who we are, Miles. Give me the gun. Oh, my God. It's all on you. The tales come to life just like my granny said. I don't know why I expected something a little more impressive. Oh, he knows the secret. And I've been guarding it with my life. Remember, Remind me your life. I can never forget you. You just saved my life. 
I think it's the other way around. You helped us remember that we still got something to live for.
Hello? Because last year we started something, and now we're going to keep doing it. So I need all my seniors to go to the middle. Thank you. 